Yo, what is up, guys? Mr. Armory on Hunts here. And today we're going to be doing the Top 23 2013 props. I will not be including any of the three foot props, the tabletop props. Just going to let you know. And uh, yeah, let's get this on. Number 23 is Eliminating Zombie Boy. I just find his activation too long. And he's just annoying. He, uh, I mean, he looks good. But, I mean, he takes a long time. And also, I mean, we can call kind of agree that David Stevie is the only yeah, people that think he's from 2015. Which is really nice. I mean, he was just continued in 2014. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. Do you. But I, I'm not the biggest fan of him. If I had the chance to get him, I wouldn't. But it's okay. Alright, so number 22 is the zombie swing girl. She started a trend of the swinging uh, creatures, but she was not the best of them. She was actually one of my least favorites because she is so annoying. I mean, she was, she was around for like... Two years? What? 2012? Like, three years? Two years? I don't know, but she was around for a bit. I really don't like her, though, because she just freaking annoys the crap out of me. And she was a good seller, strangely. But, I mean... Eh. 21 is Gruesome Granny. Um, I really just... I'm not a fan of Grisha Granny. Um, I mean, she was okay, but I feel like there were better things uh, years ago, like in 2013. I, I think there were better props, but um, yeah, I, I don't have much to say other than I think there were better props than Grisha Granny. Um. Yeah, I don't have much to say at all. Number 20 is the jumping critter and the jumping rat. Or the jumping rat. Now, I'm going to say, uh, the reason why everything's been a little off in this video, and I'm not just going boom, boom, it's because, um, this, the, they're 23 animatronics, so I want to, like, I'm cutting the video down, so it's not, like, 15 minutes, more like 10 minutes, so... It'll be easier on my phone, and it'll be a lot easier to view. Um, but number... Number 20 is the jumping rat. Never really liked the jumping rat. Looks a little fake, but I mean, it scared some people, I guess. Not, I don't have much to say about it at all, really. Number 19 is the jumping dog. If you don't know, I own a jumping dog. It's a really nice prop. Um, although mine actually jumps kind of slow. So, that's something to look at. But, jumping dog, really cool prop. If you have the chance to get him, I'd get him. Oh, frick, I'm bleeding. Um, I would honestly just get him, take good care of him. And that's all I really have to say. Uh, really nice prop. A good jumping prop, just for better ones. Number 18 is the jumping bug. Now, jumping bug is a odd prop because it has eight legs like a spider. But bugs usually have three, which is really, really weird. I mean, no, not three, six. Um, I mean, it's a really, really big insect. If you think it's a smaller prop, you think again. It's actually really, really huge. It looks like something straight out of a nuclear accident. Um, it's, it's weird. It's creepy. People hate it, and I think people will get scared from it. So, honestly, a good piece to have in a haunted house. And, uh, yeah, if you ever get the chance to get him, I would get him. Number 17 is the jumping spider. Uh, now, if you're wondering why there's no brown jumping spider, it's because I'm counting them as one. Like, as one whole category. I'm not going to be putting more on the list. 
I'm going to keep it as short as I can and compact. So, this guy is representing both brown and black jumping spiders. Uh, really nice prop, scares a lot of people, although um, we're better ones that year. Number 16 is Rosemary. Now, Rosemary actually kind of fit in with this theme. Although, um, she wasn't the best of the year, she was honestly different. She was pretty cool. Now, go check out Joe Bean Video's video. Basically, um, hold on. Basically, where he talks about the top 10 best and worst jump scare props. Now, the video is about like an hour, 30 minutes long, so if you're going to watch it, at least put aside, like if you're on, if you're in school and you're on break, at least put aside a couple hours a day in, in the day to watch it, because it's a good video. He makes some great freaking points. Like, um, Rosemary, she's a good prop, although she takes 30 to 45 seconds to lunge. And by that time, people will be long gone, alright? So, uh, other props did better, but Rosemary was good. Um, alright. Number 15 is the pop-up burnt corpse. Or the pop-up zombie. Now, the pop-up burnt corpse, or zombie, I'm just gonna call it the zombie, is the second of the pop-up... Well, no, actually, he's the... Yeah, second. He's the second of the pop-up line. Now, in the pop-up line, there are four animatronics. One was the pop-up, the original pop-up zombie with the green eyes and the sharp teeth. Uh, a lot of people call him the pop-up demon because uh, he doesn't really look like a zombie. If you can tell me where he was sold, that would be great. Um, now, the second one was the pop-up burnt corpse for 2013. He was in the lawn scares. Uh, the other one for 2013 was sold at Grandin Road and was the pop-up ghost. And the last of the pop-ups was in 2014, which was the pop-up werewolf, which is the worst of them all. Now, pop-up zombie makes so many people scream. And it's not the actual, like, zombie that makes them scream. It's the loud boom and the rapid motion of the zombie. Uh, which actually scares people a lot. Which is weird. You think something that tells them to go die would scare them. And no, something that just makes a loud pop does. Which is really weird. I mean, there were better props that year. But I just feel like this one. This one just had to be a little more up. But there were better props. Number 14 I think we're on is Death Row. Death Row is an animatronic sold from 2012 to 2013 and was online only all the way to 2018 and is now discontinued. This one actually kind of fit in with the Asylum theme and it was really, really good. Um, I'm happy I got to see it a couple times in stores and um, it's a really nice prop. Just really, really good all around. I don't have much to say about it though, so yeah. Number 13 is the Jumping Snake. Jumping Snake doesn't really scare everybody, but it scares people with ophidiophobia. Ophidiophobia is the fear of snakes. Now, people are afraid of this. Why? Because it's a freaking snake. Why are people afraid of snakes? God knows why. But, um, it's, it's actually a really good size for a snake, and if you could get him, I would get him. Uh, they're just better props in the year, in my opinion. Number 12 is the Miss Fortune Teller. Miss Fortune Teller is one of them structure props, which they have a structure with them, but it's a different prop. Different props are really weird sometimes. This one is a fortune teller. We haven't really seen much many fortune tellers. Um, it's really, really different because it's more interactive, I guess you could say. It's like a Zoltan, almost, like a, Zolt like a Zoltan thing, like the uh, Jimmy one, I think. I think that's what it was based off of. But uh, Madame Morbida, I think, is a really cool prop, or the Misfortune Teller. If I can get the Misfortune Teller, you, you bet your socks I'd be getting her. I don't know why I said I bet your socks. 
but uh, she is honestly a really, really cool prop. Uh, if you can get her, I'd get her. But uh, don't pay like five hundred dollars for. Number eleven is the convulsing nurse. Now, convulsing nurse, she's really, really creepy in my opinion. Um, there's just better props than her. And the only thing really she has going for her is the wire that will stick out in the butt area. Um, other than that, she's really cool. Really good prop. She's one of the um, con three convulsing props, which consists of the zombie, werewolf, and nurse. Really cool, and I think they sold the first aid box separate, which is really, really nice. Because you can press the first aid box, and then that would set off the nurse, which is really cool in my opinion. Alright, we're in the top 10, y'all. Number 10 is Dead Humor. Dead Humor was a part of the Rising from the Grave series. He was actually one of the smaller Rising from the Graves. The tallest ones being the Corpse and the Grim Reaper. Now, the Rising from the Grave series, if you don't know, it's a series of animatronics that, well, rise up. They basically jump out at you. And this is the clown version, or Dead Humor. Now, the clown version is one of my favorites. Um... I would really like to get him, but if I, uh, but you can't find him anywhere. And every single one of them has a different face, facial expression, which is cool. So, I mean, that's all I really have to say for dead humor. Alright, so here we have the Thrashing Clown for number nine. Number nine is Thrashing Clown. Number nine, number nine. Rad, 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 rad. Alright, Thrashing Clown is actually one of my favorite clowns. Uh, because I think it comes with the TNT box, plus it comes with the clown himself, which is just really, really cool. And he's a psychotic clown. Who doesn't like psychotic clowns? And he also holds a cleaver, which is nice. I don't have much more to say about him other than he's just a psychotic clown. That's cool. Number eight is Wacky Mole Clown. Wacky Mole Clown is another one of my favorite clowns. Why? Because um, he, he can glow underneath the black light. It's really cool seeing him underneath the black light, but, um, that's really all he has going for him, other than he has a huge freaking grin and weird, weird eyes. He's a really, really nice animatronic that, if you can get him, I'd get him, alright? Really cool, one of Seasonal Vision's best props, in my opinion. Number seven is Wheelchair Psycho. Now, uh, she actually kind of fit in with the theme also. And the one thing I don't get about her is the face. Alright, let me zoom in on that face. It looks kind of apish, almost. You see that? It kind of looks apish. I don't know, that may just be me. But, um, yeah, really nice prop. I don't, you don't see many props with glowing blue eyes, which is different. I mean, that's all she has going for her. Alright, I'm going to try to go look at split through these ones. Uh, number six is the Silent Deadly Clown. Uh, even though his activation is pretty short, I honestly think he's one of the creepiest of all the clown animatronics. Um, he's really, really cool looking. I like his colors, and I like how he looks, and I love his audio. Number five is Skeeves the Butler. He's probably one of my favorite butler props, if not my favorite. Um, I'm actually happy I got to see him back in 2013, even though, uh, he kind of creeped me out a little bit. Um, he's really nice. I wish I would was able to get him, but, I mean, they have ones just like him at Home Depot. But, still, he's better than the Home Depot ones, in my opinion. Number four is Bloody Bag of Jokes. Don't have much to say about this one, other than probably my favorite of the, uh, the uh, Zombie Bait series. Uh, I actually would love to get him sometime, but uh, I don't have the opportunity to get him. But other than that, just a really nice prop, good prop, one of my favorite clown props. Alright, gonna go look at you split through these ones too. Alright, number three, top three, uh, we have Pumpkin Nester. Pumpkin Nester is one of my favorite swinging props. I just love his voice, I love how he looks, I love his animation. Not much to say about him other than he's a good prop all around. Number two is Cemetery Angel. I love his voice, and I love how deceiving he is. He looks like a sweet angel that's just crying, but then really he's a demon. I think it's really good to go in a cemetery on top of like a little plaque thing or something. I don't know. No, not a plaque, but like a stand. 
Really cool prop. If you can get him, I'd get him. He's one of the statue props. Really cool prop. They're very deceiving. Number one, gonna go through this. Look at he split two, and the video's 15 minutes. Crap. All right, is the Sickening Reaper. Really like this prop. Not much to really say about him, other than he's like Pestilence, which I love them both. Uh, if you're able to get him, I'd get him. Uh, if you're able to get him, get him. If I was able to get him, I'd get him. He's he's smoking too. He he smokes. He's smoldering. But, uh, I don't have much to say about him other than he's super freaking cool. Sorry this is rushed. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye!